Hello guys, uh, my name is Arun Tyagi and as I explained that the what kind of journey we are going to take let's start this journey journey with uh, solid principles right and in solid principle first thing is a single responsibility principle so let's start uh, with this let me uh, share my screen the code with you and obviously I will share this code over github you can find the link uh, into description section yeah so first thing first what SRP single responsibility principle states uh, this is straightforward uh, this is official definition it states that every module or a class or a function in a program should have responsibility over a single part of that program right and it should encapsulate that uh, within within himself right if if this is a class then encapsulate in a class if module then encapsulate in a module and if function then encapsulate in that function so this is straightforward now um, let's try to code it let's try to understand that how we can achieve this and how we should follow it though this one is is pretty straightforward let's take a scenario where um, we need to build a to-do list, right? A class uh, where where a client, uh, you know, whoever is using my class, they should be able to add an item into my to-do list. They should be able to delete, right? The, the, the basic CRUD operations. And this these items should be saved, persisted permanently, right? Whether it is a database or an all. For this uh, uh, small example, I will not do any database connections. I will keep it simple, save, all these things into a file right so our focus is that how i can uh, create this to-do list now uh, i'm i i will show you both the examples that what can be my um, you know brute force approach uh, where i will not think of any pattern but it will be able to achieve this functionality right but it is violating single responsibility principle and we should not do this so let's jump into that first i'm calling it a bad way right so i have created a bad way dot cs here in single responsibility principle what this guy is having uh, so let's suppose you create a to do class i'm calling it a bad way to do class right so you have created a to do class in that uh, i i'm i'm supposed to add an item so i'm calling it an add entry if I need to delete something from any any place, I will give a function called remove entry so that the client of this class, they should be able to call this item to add and remove. And then um, I gave a straightforward function. If you want to save it, just call this function and I will simply save all those things into a file. Now where it is violating. So if you see to do uh, right, the name itself suggests that it should provide me the features of adding an item, deleting an item and, and edit and other things. But saving into database, creating, an, uh, in, you know, connect, creating a connection between database and this is, is not, should not be the functionality of this one. That means here we are complicating things. And if we will do these such things, then in a real project, it will be very messy. It will be difficult to manage the code. It will be difficult to, you know, we will be, we will actually introduce more bugs, right? This is a bad way of coding. That's the only thing I'm trying to state here that see what work you want this, this piece, whether it's a module or a class or a function, what exactly you want to do with it and keep only those features inside it. Do not add further things, right? So this is a brute force way though it will work but this is not the right way to do it so always avoid it how we can do it in in place of this right if we we cannot do this then how we should do it for that first i have created a client that uh, a client uh, who is going to use my to do what that client want to do that client will have instance of my to do right whether that instance can come from a factory or something but for simplicity right now i'm just creating a direct object uh, of my class so right concrete class so once my client will have access to my class what they can do is um, they can add entry and, and they want to save it so in a right world 
first they will do my, in my to do my to do is providing add entry remove entry functionalities on only and then for persistence into a file it's you know someone else's job that you have all these items save it directly so for that we created another class i'm calling it a persistence class you can think of it as a database layer right so database layer to save it into the database or here in this case i'm saving it into file straightforward right let's jump into these classes so first i'm going into this to do so now my to do uh, is is very simple uh, where i am having in my to do i'm only having add entry and remove entry that's it i'm done right two string i have created because i'm saving it into a file so uh, you know to serialize uh, this thing now to do is straightforward second thing which my client want is something to save uh, into database or some a guy who will you know create a connection between my whatever my storage is in this case my storage is a file but in other case it 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 will be a db database right so this is separate you have a persistence layer a persistence class here and it is having straightforward work function save to file so it can be generic later it means today you have to do tomorrow you will have other entities right other other domain classes so you can you know pass those generic things here and uh, this guy uh, will be able to save all those types right so here uh, persistence is directly saved to file so you will passing all the parameters and and say so that that's it single responsibility pr principle is is very simple very straightforward and we should always follow it okay so yeah uh, that's it in this one uh, we'll move to uh, the next one in next video please uh, to write a way to read this thing is come up with your scenario come up with uh, you know okay just take this code uh, from github add your scenario and code that scenario and if you have any questions ask that question uh, that question is will give you clarity and will give uh, me i will also learn something from it because you know your scenario may, might be more complicated where where it is challenging uh, you know but to, to keep uh, to use this principle there so if you have scenarios just post those i will try to um, i will uh, put all my efforts uh, to 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 help you there right so yeah thank you very much guys and have a nice day see you in the next video thank you take care bye